Tyler, in which Jesus said unto him, My son liveth in himself believe, and the whole house says again the second miracle that Jesus did, when he was come out of Judea of Galilee, to the After this there was a feast of Jews, and Jesus went back to Jerusalem. Now there is a Jerusalem and a sheep market pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five power porches, and these lay a great multitude of them the the blind, both blinded, waiting for the moving of water. For an angel went down in a certain season to the pool, and troubled the water, whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in, was made whole, whatsoever disease he had. And the certain man was there, which had been from thirty and eighty years, and when Jesus saw him alive, he knew that he had been now a long time in that place. He said unto him, Most I be made whole, and fourteen It was man answered him, Sir, I have no man from the water struggle to put me into the pool, the blind coming another seven for me. Jesus said Rise, pick up and walk. Immediately the man was made whole, and he took up his bed and walked. And on the same day, it was the Sabbath, and the Jews therefore said unto him, I was cured. It is the Sabbath day, and it is not lawful for thee to cure thy bed. He answered them, You made me whole. The same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. And asked him, What man has that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? And he that was healed was not who his was, for Jesus had him himself away. The multitude being in that place, afterward Jesus found him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, and sin no more. For us the worst thing come down to thee. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus, which had made him whole, and therefore did the Jews pursue Jesus and sought to slay him, because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. But Jesus answered them, My father wanted to kill him, therefore the Jews sought more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said, Also that God was his father, making himself equal of God. And then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do, for what things soever he doth, very these also doth the Son likewise. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doth, and he will show them greater works than these, that he may marvel. For as the Father raiseth without the dead, and looketh him, even so the Son looketh whom he will. For the Father doeth no man that hath committed all good to the Son, but all men should honor the Son, even as I the Father. He that honoreth the Son that the rising life, he shall not come to condemnation, but his passing death into life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and it now is, from the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. For his Father hath life, and himself so hath he given to the sons half life, and himself, and hath given him authority, and to give judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, and he shall come forth, and that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. I have in mine own self do nothing, as I hear I judge, and I do not judge, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me.